Hey people, so this one's mostly gonna be about my drilling rig, uh, but I just want to give a quick update on the space elevator. So it's uh, currently sitting at 500 meters. I could have gotten a lot, lot further, but suddenly all my materials disappeared really, really fast. I was wondering why. So my original idea was that I'd build seven assemblers, have them assemble the parts continuously, and they'd fill up their 2,000 liter inventory and then stop because they ran out of space. I put a sorter over here to prevent them from filling up this car container and I thought it was great. But then I uh, recalled I got a bunch of connectors, each with 8,000 liters of inventory. So what's happened is that they have been producing a ton of components here. So 7,000 large tubes, 25,000 computers, 20,000 small tubes and so on. So I've gonna made a script that checks the entire inventory of the grid here, and then basically, if there are more than enough materials for five sections, it's not gonna do anything. If there are less, then it's gonna produce enough materials for five sections, and that's basically it's always have materials enough for five sections, and it's not gonna be producing continuously. So I guess I don't even need the upgrades anymore. I'm not sure actually. Uh, it depends. Use quite a bit of. Um, steel plates but uh, yeah I'm gonna start that up once I'm done uh, modifying the miner I think I need any more materials anyhow so miner uh, I upgraded it with the drill head that I made in the last video the small one and I had to replace the drill tower up here and expand it by two blocks that's it rest of the drilling machine is as it was apart from moving some plates out here that was interfering but I think in retrospect it's not really that important. Anywho, yes, let's go out and uh, mine some ore. Alright, so I'm just gonna drive out and find some ore. Um, I kinda wanna do iron because it's quite noticeable, well it's easy to see on, uh, well, when underground but uh, let's just see what we find. Alright, found some iron. So, uh, well the button is business as usual. I press 3, the drill head rises up. Now, because of some interference between the conveyor up here and the drill, it's going to start by lowering and drilling straight down for about 3.5 meters. And once it is past that, it is going to circle out the hole so it doesn't start out in a square and smash itself to bits. So it's gonna go about half quarter quarter on a, or a half of a revolution. Then it's gonna speed up a little bit and start going down. Now what it's gonna do now it's gonna drill down until it hits ore. When it hits ore it's gonna note the point that the ore is at. Then it's gonna note the point where it stops finding the ore and it's gonna try and place these drills up here in the middle of that between those two points that should be the middle of the seam and then it's gonna start mining with them and expand out um, I know I went on about circles and squares in the last video but I just wanted to uh, make a note of this 3x3 three three grid of drills just by turning this around I am actually increasing the area that it drills by 57% I calculated because the, the instead of uh, 7.5 times 7.5 meter square it's gonna be a circle with a diameter of about 10 or 11 meters so the diagonal of the square so yeah 57% more ore from a square mining head just by adding a rotor uh, you do add a bit of time, I think. Uh, I mean, it can't drill as fast when rotating around as it can when not, I think. So, uh, yeah, but uh, I think it's definitely worth it. It's the same with these up here, except that the benefit is much, much greater. Uh, they're gonna slow down drilling time, but then they're gonna increase, well, they're gonna make sure that we get 500% of the ore we would have gotten with only having the 3x3 three three grid of drills. So uh, yeah, it's pretty neat. So how far down to the iron? Let's see, well we're getting there. So yeah, it's hit the it's hit the iron, and it should have noted the, the location. And now it's gonna continue down through until it doesn't see iron anymore. 
and then it's going to continue a bit further to place the drills up here. Um, there is still a lot of work to do on this drilling rig. For example, if I were to mine ice right now, what it would do, it would drill down to the middle of the ice patch, well, to the bottom of the ice patch, then go back up into the middle of the ice patch and then start drilling out, instead of just spreading out as soon as it's below ice. But uh, yeah, I think I need to add some more modes for that. Um, but uh, this is my first like real test run. I've tested it back at the base, but I haven't actually used it uh, out in the field. So it should stop in about a meter or two. Please don't get crushed or stuck. Then it should expand these out to about 15 degrees. Because if I start drilling in here, they're going to damage the conveyors over here, I found. So that is a huge hassle. Uh, but apparently drills can damage their own grid. So, let's see, is it moving out? It's moving out slowly then. Yeah, it's moving out. It should start drilling once it's at 15 degrees. I've slowed them down a bit because I had a problem with them exploding and this might as well, yeah, it's going to explode as well. Unless it can make it over to the drilled area. Oh, it survived. Right. So now they are just going to drill and expand and it seems we hit about the middle of the seam here. Yeah, oh, I love that. That's perfect. That's perfect. So, yeah, I had some problems with the exploding because the hole isn't as wide as it should be. Um, so, the edge of this would hit the wall. I really wish these were a bit rounded. Uh, or I was able to keep them on all the way down, expanding the hole a little bit more, but I can't because of the gosh darn conveyors getting damaged. So, yeah. Now it's expanding out, it's going to drill, we are less than halfway expanded out, and let's see the kind of ore we're getting here. So we are already at 430k ore on this mine alone, and I'm going to get, I think, about twice that once we're fully out. So uh, yeah, a little million um, iron from a single mining trip, I, I don't think I can ask for more. I mean, I could build bigger, you saw the other drilling heads, the ridiculous drilling heads, but just imagine, I mean, that's, I don't know, I, that, that's, t that's like 10 times the amount of ore we're getting here, no more, much more than 10 times. That's just ridiculous amounts, so we'd need uh, a pretty large drilling vehicle or stationary one for that to even make sense. So, let's see, we are almost halfway, I've had to... It could go a bit faster than this, I've done it faster than this, but that initial explosion, <laughs> because it hits the, the wall, just uh, kind of limbs my possibilities here. So halfway out, we are at we are at, we are at 600k, so I don't think that uh, 1 million is, uh, is, is an overestimation, I think that's pretty realistic actually. Uh, especially considering the greater the radius, the larger the... well, we're gonna get... No, we're gonna get uh, yeah, a pretty good uh, volume of iron out there. So yeah, I think we have a uh, little point in standing here staring at this. I mean, you can see it works. Uh, as with the last drilling rig, I'm gonna upload this to the workshop as a blueprint. Oh, let's, uh, let's just make it go up. I haven't actually tested that since I changed it. So, stop please. Alright, we're going back in. So, as with the last uh, drilling rig, I'm going to add it to the workshop and then I'm going to add the script um, to the workshop as well. And Because the last time, for some reason, it just didn't work properly. By the way, the last uh, slow moving thing was it uh, lining up with the drilling rig so that it is, uh, is going to be... Oh, I got squished. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm stuck. Uh, so that it's gonna line up when I lay down here even though it's actually now that I look at it floating over the void so it wouldn't matter if it was rotated. Okay it matters because of the convey I guess. Well I guess I am stuck here so uh, yeah I'm gonna end the video. Thank you for watching and uh, see you.